when I was in, I have another question here. When I was in fifth grade, I fell out of the bleachers at morning assembly. Oh man, I was afraid of people laughing at me. So when I got to the bottom, I pretended that I was dead. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Jeez, this worked. The kids did not laugh at me. But then I had to go to the hospital and get many tests taken. Oh my God. And I never told my family the truth. And to this day, they believe that I have a serious fainting issue. And it is now and forever listed in my medical history. Oh my God. <laughs> How can I come clean and tell my family that I faked my own death to avoid embarrassment? That's Lauren from Kentucky. This oh, is Lauren. a lot, Lauren. That's a lot, Lauren. That's Lauren. a whole heck of a lot. My brothers might disagree with me, Lauren, but you're in too deep now. Why have you waited this long to come clean? You can't come clean now. You're in too deep. Why Why would you come clean now? Oh, because the guilt? You've lived it with, for with this long? You got to just... Lauren! No, this is a this is a very, very high-stakes Boy Who Cried Wolf situation where one, you know, what if you beef it? And they're like, oh, that's just Lauren fainting again. Yeah, what if you have an actual faint? Then they're just going to leave you there. What? Why? Wait, hold on, boys. <laughs> if they believe, if Lauren's family believes Lauren has a fainting condition and then Lauren faints, you think they're going to go, that's just Lauren being Lauren and leave Lauren fainted on the ground? I guess. No, that's a, I mean, that's a fair point. They'll probably carry Lauren, carry Lauren the same thing. <laughs> oh, that's, Lauren. That's, that's well, true. she just faints sometimes. Lauren, this is rough stuff. You got to say something. <laughs> You got to get this one done, Lauren. Don't listen to us. Do this thing. Stand up and stand in your truth and say, because it, it'll, maybe for them, it'll be a funny story. Unless they have had to, you know, unless they have catered to you in some Ooh. sort of special way for your entire life, which I, you know, I hope is not the situation. Uh, they carry pillows around you all the time. Yeah, that would not be ideal. I think you got to get out in front of, well, not in front of, on top of this one. You should stand up at the next family gathering and say, hello, everyone. I have big news. I cured my fainting disorder by eating organically. Yes. Amazingly enough, by eating only organic foods, I cured my fainting issue. And I would like to do a sort of a speaking to her about it. Uh, I guess that kind of gets even deeper into yeah, the line, it doesn't juice. it? That's yeah. kind of just another layer. Because then you got to eat organically yeah. all the time. It's, still, it's even worse. Uh, hey, Lauren, I just saw you eat a Twinkie. Are you going to be okay? Travis, you want to know something weird? When I was thinking of the next step of that joke, Twinkie was going to be my uh, yeah. my food as well. That's like the least, I guess that's the least organic. Is that, mm. I guess? Yes, I would, I would say so. I think the plastic that wraps the Twinkie is more organic than the Twinkie itself. But listen... If the makers of Twinkie are listening, I do love them. Yeah, but huge fans over here. Know thyself, you know? Lauren, take their asses to Applebee's and just say it because it's rough stuff. I like, uh, There's a, this is one of a subcategory of questions that uh, I always enjoy, which is questions where the subtext is, P.S. My family and anyone who knows me will never, ever, 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 ever listen to your podcast. Because yep. there's no way, <laughs> there's no way someone's listening to this and they're like, uh, a Lauren from Kentucky that fainted on the bleachers in fifth grade and almost died? There's no way that there is another one of those. So you're basically also saying you, you've limited yourself as a... Um, uh, as a point of origin for sharing this show. You'll never be able to share this show with your family. And that's really the bigger tragedy, if you think about it. 